I've never been anywhere else in the world that's this rich in culture, biodiversity, and the intertwining of those two things here is just, as soon as I came here, I knew this is an incredibly special place. I'm not a classic scholar. I don't thrive in the classroom. I thrive outside. I'm gonna continue as the, an experiential educator for the rest of my life because I know and understand that for a huge majority of students, that is the best way to learn, especially in the field of ecology. Anything to do with the environment should be taught in the environment as much as possible. My learning happens on the ground and when I have my hands in the mix and I'm, and I'm doing things and observing things, learning from other people, um, that's when I feel like I'm most learning and that's when the learning really sinks in for me. It's, it's really hard to get a sense of place, a sense of the animals, say, in their, in their environment from a textbook. Likewise, it's difficult to get sometimes the bigger sense of a whole system from an individual experience in a place. And I think that, that those, that pairing of, of learning in place in a natural setting and uh, having things really consolidated in an institutional environment uh, or out of a textbook uh, actually really go hand in hand and work really well together. One thing I've learned through my time here is, and my time as an ecologist in the world at large, is we need more than one way of knowing to fully understand it, and especially to understand it if we seek to conserve or manage it. We live on the coast. This is where we recreate. This is where our lives are. And that kind of connection doesn't happen with, with flying in and getting your data and leaving. That level of knowledge will never be there otherwise.